this and the origins of Cantonese cuisine started here. Some very high, tall buildings. But, uh, well, they've got glorious weather as well uh, this time of year. It's a very mild winter always in South China. As we head back into the China Stadium, it really is raucous, a terrific atmosphere, building nicely. And they've another Chinese athlete coming on court now. And as you can see, local fans have been treated because they've had three Chinese win. One in mixed doubles, Zheng and Huang coming through. And, uh, two in mixed doubles indeed, Huang and Huang, as well as Zheng and Huang. That'll be the mixed doubles final. Women's singles as well, Chen Yufei. But, uh, well, next up, it's Chen Long, former world number one. And uh, you can see that was how things unfolded through the groups. Mamota and Wang Su Wei, the debutant in his first ever semi-final of the year-end event on Group A. And Anthony Sinasuti Ginting taking on Chen Long as we look at the draw. This one coming from the bottom of the men's singles draw. And it's a knockout, of course, it is featuring the reigning Olympic champion, twice world champion and twice winner of this season-ending tournament in 2012 and 14, Chen Long. Former world number one, ranked number four at the moment, but you can never discount him, he's such a strong athlete. He'll be relying on all of his experience and recent form as well. He won the French Open, was runner-up in the Denmark Open as well the previous week. He takes on Ginting, the Indonesian number two behind Jonathan Christie. And uh, there's their career wins. Look at the experience of Chen Long. He has been around quite a while and amassed, notched up a lot of wins. Chen Long backstage with his vest on, ready to go. Pulsing. Warm. Just, uh, yeah, watching our coverage keenly. He's in great shape, isn't he? Chen Long's results so far, his route here, pretty emphatic, I'm sure you'll agree. And, well, a win over Victor Axelsen, but uh, that was void and discounted because, of course, Victor retired in his last match, so it makes all the results that he played completely null and void throughout the week. But still, Ginting and Chen Long managed to come through at the expense of Cho Tian Chen. So there's Ginting, dressed in all blue, just uh, having a last-minute swig to keep hydrated. It's pretty warm in the hall today. And, uh, well, he's had a terrific season as well, hasn't he, Ginting? So uh, this a repeat of their Group B Thursday clash where Ginting crushed Chen in a straight game, no nonsense showing. He was detained, was the Indonesian, for only 39 minutes. Will the more decorated Chinese athlete avenge that loss this afternoon? and set the record straight. Only time will tell. But let's take a look at how Anthony Sinasuka Ginting got here. He had a win over Cho Tianchen from Chinese Taipei. First, that was a really tight affair. Look at that hour and 17 minutes. 25, 23 in the deciding game. And uh, well, then he beat the man he's going to do battle with right now. And that was a uh, fairly lopsided. Just 21-12, uh, 21-11, and then, well, Victor Axelson, let's wish him well in his recovery of that hamstring niggle. But, uh, just eight minutes was all he could manage, Morton, and it, uh, hopefully he'll be OK. Absolutely. It's, uh, it was a tough tournament for, for Victor, and uh, he had to give walk over eventually, and um, even even whatever happened he would have not been able to qualify for the semi-final so I think he he chose to say oh, I, I have to look after myself and he ended last in the group almost uh, no matter what so um, I think that's one of the reasons why it's okay let's um, let's look after my body rather than anything else yeah you've got to take the long-term approach haven't you with stuff like that be very very careful if you want a long extended career 
Here's Anthony Sinasuka Ginting making his way onto center stage. The media spotlight burning down brightly here in this wonderful Tiana Stadium. It's been beautifully staged. The house is pretty packed, to be fair. Lots of fans in this 10,000 seater stadium. An atmosphere bubbling up nicely and of course we'll do it all again from six o'clock local time we've another five matches for you in our second semi-final session as well Gintink just up one spot off of his career high of seventh in the world of earlier in the year at june and there's head-to-head -head record seven four Gintink leads and he won the last showing as well at the French Open. Serve serve. So ends being sorted and who will serve first as well. Chen Long looking particularly shredded and cut, carrying no, well, very minimal body fat. He is in such good shape. Both are, of course they are. It's the only way you can play world badminton at this highest level. Well, you have to say that uh, Anthony Ginting is probably one of the fittest players uh, on the circuit in the men's singles. And of course, it's also based on the fact that he's got so quick legs that he's there in no time and is using very, very little energy to um, you know, get to shots and so on. Seven years older than his uh, opponent today. Ranked four has been as uh, up to one in the world. We said that that was on the uh, 11th of June 2016. He's played 55 matches this year, won 37 of them, lost 16. Ginting, well, as I say, world ranked eighth, just one off his high of June earlier this year. Played 55 matches, lost 20, won 35. His most consistent season unable to defend his china open title of last year he was the runner-up in that one but, uh, four times a runner-up the recent australian open singapore open victor china open and the hong kong open as well as two semi-final showings fabio beto from italy in the chair always very expressive good umpire and that service judge rohana da silva from sri lanka So one of the stats on Anthony Ginting, richly talented, the only player to beat Kento Momota twice in 2018. That's true. He's got the pace. He's got uh, the disguise. Everything he's playing is with a small delay. He's a very clever player. I, I actually think that uh, Ginting has got the highest top level of all players in the world. However, he's not able to maintain it within a match or within a tournament. But when he's playing at his best, even Momota can't follow him. Wow. And when we saw him play against uh, Chen Long the other day, Chen Long had no way to follow the pace of Ginting. I don't know what's happening because Ginting is very inconsistent even within a match, a game, or even within a certain period in a game. Is that because he's redlining physically to do that? I don't know what it is. He is just inconsistent. But when he's playing his best, his A game is probably the best in the whole world. Who can make two last pushes for the spoils then? First of the men's singles semi-finals.
That's well left. Oh, that was called in. Sorry, I didn't see the line judge. I, I actually thought that was going out. Nope, it stayed in. When he's playing well, the shots are in. And when he's having these not so good spells, they're going out. I wonder if he can find the pin code today, Ginting. Good leave from the Indonesian, backing himself. What does Chen Long have to do more than to try and haul Ginting out of these uh, high passages of play that he can sometimes reach? He's got to do what he's best at. Keep it going, keep it solid, keep it difficult, make it difficult for, her, for Ginting then mistakes will creep into the game of Ginting and then uh, he will capitalize on that. But he's got to stay alert and he's got to be able to follow pace. Oh, incredible defence from Ginting. And this is one of the trademarks of uh, Ginting's defence. One of the reasons why he's doing so well against Kento Momota, because Kento, as we all know, is a left-hander, and he likes that attack down the line from the around-the-head situation. One of the few who can actually get that one across is Ginting. Well. So that's one of the reasons why Ginting is doing well against Momota. Always an education with you, sir. Love it. Good anticipation there by Ginting. Oh, that's beautiful by Chen Long, using his long, long reach and just playing it cross court. Excellent shot. He is so stealthy around the court, isn't he? Just made that look academic. First challenge of the match, then. Deadlock on the scoreboard, early doors. Players looking to end 2019 on a high. Ginting producing fireworks already.
stunning. Could hear the vicious racket, head speed here. He went lights out at this one. Great footwork, Morden, to get around that. So quick. <laughs> so quick. Well, Chen Long must be absolutely gutted after that. He was driving the point forward. He Ginting neutralised two or three times within it and then turned it around. I mean, that's just cruel. Yeah, that's a good recovery shot there from uh, Ginting. Got his favourite cross-court smash. And, of course, uh, Chen Long is kind of edging a little bit towards the cross-court. And then the smash comes down the line with a nice disguise as well. And that one is in too. Of course, it was his compatriot, Shi Yu Chi, that won this event last year. Yeah, he stunned Kento Momota yeah. in the final with a fantastic display. That's the favorite one. Missed it. Missed it twice already in the, the opening part of this uh, first game. Incidentally, those uh, Kento Momoto fans amongst you, he'll be on first match up in the second of the men's single semi-finals tonight, 6 p.m. local time, taking on Wang Su Wei of Chinese Taipei. Yeah, there's a big story in the Danish papers about the match between Anna Santonsen and uh, Wang Su Wei of yesterday. Because it turns out that, that uh, Antonsen didn't know that he had to win his match in two straight games. And he was quite uh, happily going along and, and he won it in three. And three. then just to realise that he did not qualify. Yeah. And, you know, experts back home, they're just calling it a scandal. How can that happen? How can you not know that you had to win it in two? So there's a lot of controversy going on around that match back home in Denmark. Whose job is that, to be aware of what you need to do to qualify? Is that the coach? The coach goes and asks, or what? I mean, the coach must know, uh, but the player must know too. And they must discuss it. But somehow it's uh, not been discussed between the two. Is it because the other semi-final, uh, the other quarter-final, the, the other group match ended sort of simultaneously? Is that the issue? No, the problem was that uh, Momota had beaten uh, Jonathan Christie in two straight games um, where the match finished about 20 minutes earlier. That's right. I was on the uh, Antonsen match and I was unsure of what was going to unfold and who would go through, I must admit. So um, that's a big one back home. Good play by Ginting. Nice cross smash to secure the three point lead. 11 8 at the turn. Ginting driving this one nicely. Just 10 minutes played. Things really looking up for the Indonesian number two.
Wow, Chen Long must have thought he had the upper hand there. Not so. Ginting was uh, laser-like with his reflexes. Cross block from the forehand side was exceptional. Head scratching moments here for Chen Long. It's kind of looks like it's replicating what happened yesterday. Chen Long really have to watch out now. The thing is, he's playing against the drift, so he is sort of in his mind possibly thinking, OK, I can play safely towards the back line and all that. I can keep it going. And, but the problem is that he cannot contain Ginting. He, he is scoring almost at will, as what we see here. So Chen Long have to attack before Ginting is attacking, even though it's not his game plan A, he still have to do it. And I think that's very, very important that he's got to realize, you, I can't give away the initiative to Ginting. I have to take it in order to try to win. Because what will happen when he gets on on the other side and is playing the fast end and can't play his normal rally game, what yeah. will he do then? Yeah, he's got to at some stage access that to get in the tempo, right? Little and too he, he can just as well use the time now to get used to it. Yeah. Because yeah. He's got to play like that in the second game. Yeah, well said, well said. If you give too much to Ginting, you'll just take it. And as you can see, he's scoring at will. That's an excellent shot from uh, Chen Long. But you would say, in a, in a nutshell, that Ginting is driving this match a lot more often than Chen Long. That point aside. Yes, he yeah, is. Yeah. And is that a default personality setting of Chen Long? He's more of a defensive athlete. Is that the issue? It's in the D DNA of his game <laughs> that he, you know, he, he is playing a more steady, basic game. But uh, sometimes, you know, you can be forced out of your comfort zone and uh, you have to be able to do more than just one, one game. And that's it. A hat-trick of Chinese points consecutively then. The crowd are roused and trying desperately to get behind their man, just to give him that little lift that he needs now, as we head through the belly of the opening game. rally from Chen Long. That's exactly, he took the initiative, he went for the attack, got the opportunity at the net, played it very tight. Look at this, first that one there, then the attack down the line, and then we have the spinning net shot here. Three or four really, really good attacking shots. <laughs> Talking of good attacking shots, yeah. Ginting immediately responds. And he's found a gap in that forehand, hasn't he? Yes, he has. He's had a lot of uh, fruit from yeah. that side with his smash, hasn't he? he yeah, has. yeah. Just trying to G himself on Chen Long, asking for more. He's had a good run of four out of the last five. The scoreboard is weighing heavier on his shoulders right now. He has to respond. He managed no more than 12 points against Ginting in the group stage encounter. Already done better than that. Nice from Ginting. 
flat and hard towards the body. He's a tricky customer, like you say, really deceptive and power laden as well. Every single shot that Ginting is playing is played with a small disguise. Yeah. And it's, it's really important from the front of the court, from the net. Guys, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a conjurer, isn't he? You don't know what he's going to do next. He's rather like, would he be rather like Sukumulio in men's doubles? Definitely unpredictable. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> I love watching him play too. I don't know anybody that doesn't, frankly. Yeah, it's always good entertaining. Entertainment. Yeah. yeah, he was sauntering around last night, really relaxed as he was defending. This court with Marcus Finaldi. But then suddenly they would just explode into life like a firework. Ginting always looks so relaxed. Yeah, but I, I think inside. Yeah. Inside, it's it's not as relaxed. That must be one of the reasons why that he sometimes uh, blow hot and cold. Mm. Oh, Chen Long, sublime accuracy there. They like it. same smash direction he's just hammering the forehand side of Chen Long yeah, and the clever thing is that he he used that cross court to the backhand just uh, previously so he's keep Chen Long guessing the whole time and uh, it's really clever play Chen Long not been able to get out of uh, this defensive situation and that's something he needs to to do in the second game it's tough order for him to, to catch back 2015 down. Ginting, magical with his disguise, gets the game in his back pocket. 20 minutes was all he needed. 21 15.
，而且有一支球，他觉得突然就说我不敢发力，就是不敢发力去打。What's thinking, Greg? To your chair. Players back for game two. Chen Long with it all to do. It's a must-game win if he wants to survive and progress to tomorrow's final. At the moment, Ginting halfway home, playing some glorious badminton. How will he respond from the far end? Long really have to watch out for the drift now, these flat drives towards the back. That uh, in Anthony Ginting is uh, inviting. Oh, I cannot believe, did he get that one back? Excellent defence there by uh, Ginting. Chen Long took it perhaps a little bit for granted. This is a very fine example of uh, Chen Long not being able to follow pace. Good defensive shot. And that's wide. Very good defensive shot from Chen Long. Cross court block. This time he covered his, his forehand. Stayed in. And Anthony Ginting off to a good start here in the uh, second game. Oh, yes. Bulldozing his way through that point, Chen Long. He needs more of the same on a regular basis. Oh, nicely done. Managed to rush Ginting, find the hole on the court. He knows he's got to up his level because Ginting definitely has long ago. And that's a clever serve by Chen Long. Not serving into the center of the court, but serving wide. And as you can see, it forced an error, if you can say that. That's probably wrong, but... No, you're right, it does, yeah. At least it was uncomfortable 
for Ginting, and he, he made a mistake on it. Ginting's so good when he keeps the angle in his knees, he's just so poised to spring anywhere really quickly. Wow, that was exceptional from Chen Long. Chinese fans battering the inflatable clappers together as hard as they can to rouse their man. Very, very solid player is Chen Long. But you do sense that the very pinnacle of Ginting's abilities are kind of otherworldly in comparison. <laughs> oh, and on cue, there's a little moment of magic from the maestro. Yeah, so far Chen Long has not been able to push Ginting into these erratic spells and he's using his speed to control the net completely and when he's got the net of course he's using his speed to finish it with his very good smashes it's all set up at the net where he's playing so fast and controlling everything just like this look he's uh, tickling the lines on a fairly regular basis now Ginting really looks like he's relaxed and flowing into his best gear, his highest gear on a regular basis. Oh, that's wonderful from Chen Long, using all of his athleticism to turn that point around. He had to be electrically quick there. Yeah. Ginting thought there was a gap, but there was no gap. It was uh, too easy for Chen Long to cover that one. Should have played a block shot, maybe cross at the net, anything but the shot he chose. Well, things momentarily looking up. Local fans delighting in what they're seeing. Can he win a third consecutive point here for the first time in game two, Chen Long? Relatively speaking, yeah, that's got a sting, hasn't it? You know, when you just leaving the shuttle like that, having worked so hard to get some sort of momentum. But anyway, it's Ginting again, as he was in game one to the turn with that 11 7 mirror scoreboard advantage. <laughs> It's been a great year for Ginting, and he really is oozing quality right now. To be owning the world number one and containing him, the former world number one, the way that he is, really smacks of top quality.
good response from the Olympic champion. Upping the pace quickly. Refusing to be cut adrift here on the scoreboard. Again, two in a row for Chen. <laughs> Announcing, I'm not done with this just yet. Can he get to three? <laughs> it's interesting how Chen Long always questioned the length of uh, his opponent uh, discussing it with his coaches was that one in was that one out using a lot of energy on that mm. yeah he often does that doesn't he again just an illustration of the ginting disguise Chen Long left floundering And this is, if you are a fan of Chen Long's game and support him, this is what you need to see some more. You really need to see these attacking shots and he's sort of taking it to his opponent and not just waiting for it. Thank you. Absolutely, proactive. Just what you were suggesting, Dr. Yeah, but it's, I, I know it's not easy. <laughs> no, well, it is from here for you, but uh, it's not easy. Ginting is, is really playing well today. Yeah, you do sense Chen Long's got to sort of pull a rabbit from the hat right now, don't you? He's, it's about salvaging some but it's possible, top form it's possible. to finish it's the year. 10-13, and uh, you never know when the, uh, Ginting is uh, giving you one or two, three points. You never know when it's happening. Perhaps now. I guess against the Indonesian number two, when he's on this kind of form, you've just got to try and weather the storm and stay with him and, and just hope as well, like you say, he's just going to switch off a little. The storm. Yeah. Get your rain mac on. Hood up. But again, denied a run of three points, Chen Long. There's been a lot of runs of two. But as long as he's get, getting two every time, <laughs> yeah, yeah. opponent is getting one, then he's OK. Yeah. <laughs> well, you sense he's trying to be a little bit more dictatorial, Morton. Yes, he is trying. That's a wonderful shot. Very well disguised, deep into the forehand side of uh, Ginting. Excellent play. Well, you sense he's trying to press the accelerator and there's nothing there on that uh, occasion.
Oh, that's nice. Lighting it up again, Ginting. Yeah. That's, again, that's it's the straight one. I don't one. understand here. Chen Long is in trouble. I know that. But why is he not trying to go cross court? He knows that the around the head situation is so strong from Ginting. And chances are that he's going to anticipate it. I know he was under tro in, in, in a lot of trouble and under a lot of pressure, but still. And that's a wonderful <laughs> disguise, this. From that's Gintin. called toying, isn't it, Morton? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's really a good trick shot. <laughs> Things looking bleak now for the Chinese. Closing in on tomorrow's final, a six-point cushion for Anthony Sinasuka Ginting. He's played some commanding, strong arm badminton. Two points away. As you can hear, the string gone. Ginting just waiting. And there it is. Yeah, the string bed uh, renders no control for Chen Long. And, well, there's an inevitability about what's going to happen in the next minute or so. Seven match point opportunities for the Indonesian number two. He's played some spellbinding badminton, to be fair. He really has. He's, he's brought his A game commendably, Morton. We wondered whether he would, but he's, uh, he's stepped up today, has Ginting. Ginting have played a really good tournament. Very good tournament here in Guangzhou. And shoots. Kento Momota win his uh, semi-final, of course. We have this clash again between uh, Ginting and uh, Momota and Almost every time they play, we are having a fantastic match to watch. A little too greedy, wanting to finish with a flurry. He knows he's got a little leeway. There it is. Ginting, glorious in Guangzhou, glides into tomorrow's final in some style. He found the pin code to his A game this afternoon and uh, acknowledges his fans and the coach. A very, very solid display of disguise and poise. Terrific badminton match from Anthony Sinasuka Ginting. He'll be delighted. He'll get to contest tomorrow's final. Possibly Kento Momota or Wang Tsu Wei. Do join us for the second session tomorrow to find out who comes through there. But for the moment, Chen Long downed the former world number one. It's the current world number eight, Anthony Sinasuka Ginting who gets through to the final match tomorrow. This afternoon at 6 p.m. Thank you for your support. See you in the afternoon. Much is another win on Chinese soil, does Ginting. Downing the Olympic champion. So here are the results today. World number one is digging deep to overcome the Japanese, Zheng and Huang. From China, the world number ones through safely just inside an hour there. Took uh, three games, they were extended. Tai Tzu Ying as well, back to her very best against uh, Nozomi Okuhara, coming through in straight games there.
She heads into the title decider because of that win. And then Wang Yi Liu and Huang Dongping, the defending champions, world number twos, also with a straight game win over the ties. And Chen Yufei, well, what form she was in, really showing her class and delighting local Chinese fans. Another Chinese win in women's singles. She's through to take on Tai Tzu Ying. And Ginting, we just brought you 41 minutes he needed to get past Chen Long. And of course, we do it all again this evening at six o'clock local time. Another five great matches. Kenta Momota, last year's runner-up, takes on the final debutant, Wang Tsui of Chinese Taipei. Chen Qingchen and Jia Yifan, the 2016 champions. They take on the runners-up of last year, Li and Shin from Korea. Endo and Watanabe already down defending champions. Can they beat the world number ones? Again, to advance to the final. And more for you, the all-Japanese contest and uh, men's doubles too. It's all coming up 6 o'clock local time. Bye for now.